Hi guys, Josh here and welcome to Frames for a second. So, we're in Japan, so of course that means we have to shoot some Japan camera under Street Pair 400. Shoot some nice black and white. You don't get a lot of shadow detail with this film, so I probably am going to expose it a little bit. Well, yeah, we'll see what happens, but I hope you enjoy, guys. Japan Camera Hunter Street Pan 400, which is a surveillance film that they've kind of cut up so that you can shoot it in your 35mm camera. They also have a 120. It's really contrasty. You really have to expose it if you want any shadow detail at all, because you won't be able to bring anything up from the shadows. The blacks are basically just black with no detail, but I still kind of like it. It does have its own look, but it is expensive. And for the price tag, I'd rather shoot something like Tri-X or even like Rolly. There's just other films that are nicer and way below in that price range, but it's still a good film. And if there's a sale or if I just randomly get my hands on it, I'd definitely like to shoot it more, but it's not one of the best black and white films in the world. I like this shot a lot. It's a nice frame in a frame. There is something about the grain I like. It's not a clean film, it's got grain. And with this role, though I was kind of just documenting stuff I was seeing, I was also trying to find images I thought would look good in black and white. Like this cyclist image here with the shadow, I thought was pretty cool. And the fish markets were cool, there's a lot around it, so not the most amazing composition that's around the fish market, because I kind of was just documenting what I was seeing. But there's still some nice shots, and it's just me capturing things that happen at the fish market, and not always being perfect with the shot. Unfortunately, the camera I, I was using has some shutter button problems, and so you really need to force it which makes metering and focusing a bit harder and I probably am going to ditch this camera soon. <laughs> the out looks amazing, it's nice and fresh and it's almost like the way we talk about steaks, you need to talk about tuna in the same way because it kind of is in the same class and pretty good. great tuna is amazing. <laughs> So I was rating this film at 200, but still developed it at 400. I just wanted that extra shadow detail so that I wasn't losing too much information. But yeah, Tokyo is cool. There's a lot going on. This guy is sleeping in his car. There is a series of images that I can get from all the roles of film I took in Japan that is people doing things in their cars. This guy just looked cool smoking. And yeah, not every shot is amazing. I'd say a high percentage of my shots. Mostly because of this camera. I kept missing opportunities and missing shots that I really wanted to get. This shot I accidentally took and so it wasn't in focus. And yeah, not everything's an amazing piece of art that I end up in a photo book at all, but I just wanted to remember things that I was seeing while on my trip. And this is the Photographic Museum, which is really awesome. And I saw an exhibit there, so we're gonna go into that. So we're in the Tokyo Photographic Museum and I just went and saw the Michael Kana exhibit 45 years and yeah it's really good. So there's a lot of great artwork in there, particularly his series on concentration camps was gorgeous, of course harrowing as hell but gorgeous. 
and also his nudes were also really good, really beautiful, you done, and done in a way that isn't objectifying, but yeah, like a lot of gorgeous images there, really good body of work, really good exhibit, but we're gonna move on, and let's go. And there was this checkered kind of walkway, which is kind of cool. I wish I took more photos there and utilized more, but oh well. Can't go back now, <laughs> at least not for a while. And yeah, so this is nearing the end of the roll. And yeah, like I said, JCH, it's a nice film. I like it, I like the contrast. But for the price, there's better films that you can shoot and there's other surveillance film that is available and that will be next week's episode two i think we'll be looking at street candy but yeah this was just a small part of my time in tokyo and i definitely want to go back again and shoot some more film and also just enjoy the place <laughs> it's pretty great if you like the episode let me know your thoughts on the images and whether you like Japan camera hunter street pan or not. I know some people do, some people don't, especially because it's mega contrasty. But I like it. And if feel free to like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications if you want to know when there's a new episode. But anyway, I'm Josh, just in frames for a second, just get there and shoot some film.